Our first encounter was fortuitous, almost a story of two strangers meeting on a night out. Romit grew up in Calcutta, and I'm from Virginia, and we both had been living in England for a few years when we met in the summer of 2010. After a friend's wedding in 2013, we traveled to this idyllic secluded beach house in Goa to unwind. We spent a relaxing day at the beach, and I popped the question at sunset with a watch. We celebrated that night with a dinner. It had to be somewhat discreet, as Section 377 had been reinstated recently. We made up for it by celebrating our engagement with family and friends in Kolkata. Back in London, it began to sink in we were getting married. We were both secretly excited about all the planning. Firstly, choosing where. We picked the charming sun city of Sevilla, Spain. We wanted to feel a personal connection to the clothes. The wedding was black tie and we picked classic tailoring from our chosen home, London. Walter chose a Savile Row tailor and I went with the classic yet contemporary aesthetic of Tom Sweeney. For the Sangeet, I wanted a designer from where I grew up, Calcutta. Who better than Sabisachi? I chose a classic black Sherwani match with my own Jamewar shawl and Walter picked an embroidered Sherwani in black and green. Given the diversity in queer relationships, it is hard to think of universally relevant advice. Assuming you are privileged enough to love freely, be yourselves, as trite as it may sound. If you think monogamy and marriage are social constructs and not something to aspire to, that's fine. If you want to get married and have children, that's fine too. There isn't one right way to be a queer couple. You do you.